Scorpio for your monthly tarot reading for July 2017. I'm going to be using the Connolly tarot deck and I will be doing the Celtic cross spread. I'm also going to pull a card from the Dharma deck, Wisdom from the Vedas. It is a 52 card oracle deck and I'll draw one of those to give you like a nice closing message at the end of your reading. All right, so let's see what July, the month of July, has to hold for Scorpio. What is the message for Scorpio? July. Scorpio. Interesting. Okay. Since we have the star card coming up, okay, yes, it is about hopes, dreams, wishes, um, anything that you could possibly wish for. It's like making a wish, asking for divine guidance and divine help. I understand that. But since this card came up, I do have to mention the astrology, since this card does represent astrology of Scorpio. So, using the sidereal system, which is constellation-based, uh, Saturn is now retrograde. It's retrograde through July in the constellation or the sidereal sign of Scorpio. So, Saturn retrograde through this part of the sky is uh, it's a hard transit, and I see that I need to mention that with the star card. I feel like they want me to share that with you. Uh, it's the last pass through Scorpio. It's, you know, Saturn transits a sign every two and a half years. It's the slowest moving planet. But it's about, it's about um, our karmic lessons. It's about struggles, hardships, overcoming adversity, uh, poverty, sickness, all of the more difficult aspects of life that um, we struggle and really work through. And at the end of our struggling, once we've gotten the lesson, once we've done the work, once we've, you know, shed the you know blood sweat and tears then we get the rewards then we reap the benefits it's not the other way around um the benefits come after the hard work uh we don't coast through life there's no shortcuts this can be a trying time for scorpio energy whether you have your ascendant moon sun sign there uh, or other planets since this video is for scorpio i have to mention that um, again, that's using the you know, Vedic astrology system, the constellational system, or the sidereal system. So here we go. The center card is the four of pentacles. And this is normally about, you know, condensing something, holding on very tightly to something, clinging even, not wanting to let go. I do see that there are two pentacles under this person's feet. And two are up here, you know, in the sky above his head. And he's sort of going back and forth between what he has. He works with what he has. Um, this is an energy about working with what you have, whether it's a lot or not. It's yours. And I feel like there's something about being appreciative for what you have as well. But there's definitely a back and forth. And there's definitely you know, shifting and moving energy back and forth. This can be money, moving money back and forth, or um, just juggling. Here we have the juggler. We have the two pentacles here that we see up here or under his feet, which seem to be sort of separated from the bottom half from the upper half. So it's two and two. Here's the two in this card, two pentacles. Is the rhythm of going back and forth, it's very busy. It's, you know, juggling two jobs, juggling two women or two men, 
or juggling two ideas at the same time that seem to be, you know, um, going against each other. They seem to be opposites. Um, yeah, and it's very much like this game of checkers or chess, maybe even like strategy of how how to like move energy back and forth to make it work for you. Okay, so here in the sh the the bottom card, the the foundation, we have the four of wands, which is about ha good health, good happiness, um, prosperity. You know, enjoying your time at home. Okay, you have a four here, which is a solid found for the foundation. Fours are usually something solid. To see a four down here is pretty good solid foundation that you have to work with. You have a four in the center as well. So two fours, and then you have the two. Two things that are seemingly very solid in your life that you're really juggling back and forth between. So in the past, we have materialism. This is the devil card. It's about temptations, it's about addictions, it's about you know, uh, self-limitation, fear, feeling like you're a slave to uh, a substance, a person, an idea, a thing, whatever it may be. Um, these are the challenges, okay? This is the fear here. <laughs> and on the other side of this rainbow, we see this woman emerging. I feel like in the past, I'm just going to throw this out there because this is what just sort of came to me. In the past, you had learned some lesson about idealizing your partners. This There's a message there about sort of this rainbow of um, the rainbow is like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which never really is there. It's elusive. This elusive partner in your life that, that's supposed to be like perfect, or maybe you had thought. Um, also the rainbow, you know, maybe about, you know, same sex relationships, um, struggling with your, you know, sexual identity or something to that extent. Um, I'm just picking up a lot of the imagery and I feel like it has to do with relationships so there's other people involved and there's some sort of feeling trapped or feeling stuck in some way. Okay, it's not going to be for everyone but um, those are some of the possibilities that I see with this card. Okay, so what's coming in is justice. Okay, making things right again, making things correct, balanced, Fair. Your mind is on some sense of of justice, having things be equal, a balanced and healthy mindset. Okay, and it's also karma as well, like tipping the scales um, back back in your favor, or paying off some sort of karmic debt to somebody. In the future, we have the Ten, the Ten of Swords, okay? There's somebody that I feel like someone is walking out of your life. It's possible that you, yourself, are walking out of theirs. But tens are usually the end of a situation. It's done. And I see this woman and she's like glowing, which has this sort of same feeling message that I was getting of this woman at the end of the rainbow here. This perfect ideal. This idealistic vision is coming to an end. Somebody is actually might be leaving your life. You got the chariot down here, which is not a bad card to have in the self position. This is about taking control of your life. So taking your power back. So in the past, maybe feeling powerless with someone or some sort of situation, things coming back into balance and taking back control of your life. 
moving forward with success and determination. I don't know if you can see this person's face, but he looks pretty determined. <laughs> you know. Um, and armed for battle, basically. Uh, there's a lot of armor that, that this charioteer has on. He's ready to sort of, you know, protect and defend himself when when needed. Feels appropriate to Scorpio. Does Scorpios have like an exoskeleton? So they have like a hard exterior plus a stinger. So, I mean, you obviously know how to protect yourself when you need to. You know, you could definitely do some damage to other people if you so choose. Just that Scorpio energy. Um, but this is moving forward in a peaceful and balanced, harmonious way. You see, you even see two heads here. The two heads is like the duality. It's the partnership. It's someone that's moving with you. You know, um, yeah. I just get the sense like you're freeing yourself. You're taking back control of your life when it has to, um, do with some sort of relationship. You have the King of Wands in the environment, so there is somebody there who is also very strong-willed. I feel like, you know, you sort of met your match here. It can be a woman, it can be a man, the gender doesn't really matter. Um, it's just a very strong-willed person who's someone who's very, another, actually this is Aries, which is another Mars-ruled sign, so Scorpio is ruled by Mars, and so is Aries. You've met your match, definitely. The fear is the king of cups. Okay. King of cups is someone familiar. Okay. Um, it's someone that you can fully be open with and trust, open up to. Okay. There's a lot of male energy with the wand, the cups, the king of wands, the king of cups, and then finally you have the emperor. I did kind of see that there is a juggling here. I did mention like juggling two people, and I, I feel like that would be them here. It's all very male energy. Hopes and fears is the king of wands. Maybe there's, it's possible that some Scorpios out there were, you know, having some sort of affair and felt stuck or trapped in that. And they have already have a partner. It's very possible. For others, it's like you have to maybe choose between two people and you're sort of weighing, you know, this person or that person. It's going to be very clear there's someone leaving your life, you're going to sort of know um, who does end up being around. You have the emperor, again, which is like a committed partner. This is like the husband, the father. It's also another Aries energy. So of the two, this Aries person would feels like that person would stick around. Maybe the loss here is this King of King of Cups, this idealized person. Maybe you had idealized this person, or maybe you will be idealizing them. Um, I'm getting a lot of that energy just in general for a lot of the signs. Um, Yes. Okay. So if I have to sum this up, I definitely feel that the star card is about faith, hope, yes, but also astrology and some sort of difficult transit. I see that with this materialism card. It's fears, it's struggles, it's limitations, all of that. Feeling like you're sort of stuck, but you're taking your power back. I feel like this has to do with like your partner, you know, it's possible that, you know, you are married. 
I see like a marriage partner and then somebody else coming into the picture and then there's the two. You sort of have something solid beneath your feet and sort of trying to figure out, you know, this other person, what how they fit in your life. That's kind of coming to an end here. The justice is about paying off some sort of karmic debt, like this sort of needed to happen for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so that's what I am seeing for Scorpio for July. I feel like I kind of had to piece that one together. It didn't come as obvious to me as a lot of the other readings that I've done. If this makes sense to you, then I'm, I'm glad this reading is not for me, it's for you. So if there's also, if there's any questions that you have about anything that I didn't mention, or if there's other things that you have seen, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I want to pull a message now. Maybe this will give me some sort of clarity, because I'm still kind of like, I feel like I've had to really push through that. It didn't come easy. So what is the message for Scorpio? For July. Success. It's interesting that there are two men in this picture. And there are the, there's the King of Wands, the King of Cups. One is sort of blurry and one is in the forefront. This has to be the King of Cups. This has to be the King of Wands. There's two men, one is fading away. That I feel like this card really depicts this this energy of like the two the two pentacles, the two people juggling, feeling stuck in some sort of temptation or struggle. Okay. Um something else did I want to mention? Let's read it. Avoid wicked, uh, avoid wicked company and associate with saintly persons. Acquire virtue both day and night. Always meditate on that which is eternal, forgetting the temporary. In this way, you will achieve success. The emperor is a successful person. <laughs> he is the authority figure here. And I see you taking your power. I see you moving forward. Um, with this is a card of success as well at really any cost I feel like there's a determination here for you to succeed with whatever matter this is about maybe some of you are having some sort of legal issue that you're thinking about and you're trying to sort of juggle and struggle and move things back and forth that's gonna come to an end okay so I don't personally need to know how this this all fits. If you got the message that you need, that's great. This reading is for you. I am seeing a lot of the symbology here that is similar within the reading. So I feel like that's appropriate. Um, either way, I hope this was helpful and entertaining to watch. Thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the upcoming videos. Until then, take care and be well. If you would like a personal reading that is specific to you and your needs and circumstances, feel free to contact me through my website, Sun Goddess Ashley, or through my business email. I'll leave a link to those two in the description box below. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time.